FBI scrambling after ISIS smuggler helped bring a dozen Uzbeks into America. This is crazy. Everyone knows our border is wide open, even terrorists, and it's open season. They know it, they're, and they're just flooding through our border. No telling what type of stuff they're bringing with them and, and um, attacks that they're planning. And it seems like the Biden administration is allowing this to happen. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store. Also, check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. The gradual realization among those on the left is growing concerning the negative implications of Joe Biden's uh, border policy for the United States. This was evident during a fight in Staten Island where a former Catholic school transformed into a shelter ignited the discussion. And, you know, I, I've covered what's going on in Chicago as well. People are upset, and, uh, and, and we know how leftist um, and how Democrat uh, Chicago is. Those residents was up in arms as well about what's going on with um, immigration. Uh, possibly, if a breaking news story emerges about a smuggler associated with ISIS, it might awaken them to the uh, broader consequences of immigration beyond local inconveniences, specifically focusing on security concerns. Well before Biden reversed the border security measures established by Trump, many of us were worried about individuals with malicious, malicious intentions exploiting gaps in our border security. I've spoke on it many occasions. An individual from, from Kuwait even proposed a relatively detailed plan for smuggling anthrax across the border to cause chaos in Washington, D.C. Defending against terrorism threats isn't a novel concept. However, our dedication to this uh, cause has significantly waned. The current influx of people crossing our border, making it relatively easy to slip in a few individuals with harmful intentions. Additionally, the issue of individuals who successfully evade capture poses a problem. While a group of ordinary civilians distracts uh, border guards, criminal organizations like cartels take advantage of the situation to smuggle people and contraband across the border, avoiding interception. Uh, a security lapse of significant magnitude has even been caught, uh, even caught attention uh, uh, um, of CNN. And the FBI is currently investigating over a dozen Uzbek nationals who entered the U.S. after seeking asylum at the southern border with ties to an ISIS-linked smuggler. While no specific ISIS plot has been confirmed, U.S. officials are closely examining these migrants for potential criminal threats. Though no evidence justifying detention exists yet, the severity of the incident prompted an urgent classified intelligence report circulated to the president uh, Biden's top cabinet officials. This highlights the vulnerability of the U.S. to potential terrorists explo uh, exploiting the influx of migrants seeking asylum. I mean, you would think it's common knowledge that this would happen if you had just have open border and let anyone into this country. Well, earlier this year, a group of migrants from Uzbekistan requested asylum underwent screening by the Department of Homeland Security and were released with court dates. It was only later that the FBI discovered their connection to a human smuggling network associated with ISIS. FBI agents across the country worked to locate and investigate these migrants. The U.S. also collaborated with Turkish authorities to apprehend the smuggler and obtain information from him for the investigation. And the New York Post provided additional details stating that many migrants have yet to be located and more than 15 who were found are still under scrutiny for potential criminal threats. The article presents an interesting perspective. It seems that the authors anticipate potential negative outcomes while portraying Biden's administration as diligent in safeguarding American interests 
against unlikely scenarios. On one hand, the individuals were screened by Homeland Security and granted court dates similar to other asylum seekers. The article emphasizes that none of these individuals have known terror connections or ties to any plots. The smuggler isn't suspected of acting on behalf of ISIS. However, discovering terror links among border crossers is concerning, particularly for a high-profile target like the U.S. The article tries to strike a balance between acknowledging the serious security threats posed by uh, such incidents and downplaying the real risk of known breaches. The FBI clarified that they haven't identified a specific terrorism plot related to foreign nationals who entered the U.S. through the southern border. However, they are working to identify potential illegal activities or terrorism threats with domestic and international partners. Notably, the U.S. hasn't located all individuals connected to the network and over 15 migrants are still under FBI scrutiny as potential criminal threats. Now, some law enforcement and intelligence officials express concern about the increasing number of migrants from Central Asia without triggering a, a more thorough investigation by U.S. border authorities. A National Security Council spokesperson, Adrienne Watson, stated that they continuously reassess security measures to effectively respond to threats and adapt screening and processing methods to protect Americans. While the absolute number of encountered terror threats um, at the border has risen during the Biden administration, it's often dismissed as a small fraction compared to the total number of border crossers. This dismissal overlooked several key points. First, Border crossers can bring various threats beyond terrorism, including violence and drug-related criminality. The number of known terror threats crossing the border doesn't account for those who evade capture by taking advantage of border surges. The crucial fact that the devastating 9-11 attacks were carried out by only 19 individuals armed with box cutters. Uh, I can go deep into that, like who's really behind it, but I'm going to leave that alone for right now. Um, and Republicans could capitalize on this issue by highlighting how Democrats allocated funds for more IRS workers but denied additional funding for border enforcement in their latest budget. The American public deserve answers about this budget provision and the Democrats' stance on enforcing the country's national borders. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.